Leonardo developed Eurofighter Typhoon ZCRS MK2 AESA radar for Royal Air Force. The United Kingdom is planning to fly the Leonardo's European Common Radar System Mark II ECRS MK2 radar aboard a Eurofighter test aircraft in late 2023, with initial operating capability slated for 2030, a Ministry of Defense spokesperson said. Main capabilities of the ECRS MK2 AESA radar, including air-to-air -air and electronic warfare, have recently been proven at Leonardo's component and test range in Edinburgh. The manufacturer has also successfully increased processing power and developed miniaturized RF chains, according to Ross Wilson, radar chief engineer at Leonardo. Leonardo UK will deliver a first flight test example of the ECRS MK2 Active Electronically Scanned Array ESA, radar for the Eurofighter Typhoon before year-end, with the Royal Air Force's service introduction schedule for the combination now targeted at the end of this decade. The MK2 will offer extensive operational functional enhancements, including ultra-high resolution imaging SAR, UHRSAR, enhanced electronic countermeasures ECCM, improved target recognition through STAP processing and electronic warfare capabilities. In this regard, the AESA radar, which works in the X-band, offers a wide range of operating modes for detecting and tracking ground and sea targets as well as for creating high-resolution radar maps in SAR mode. One of the RAF's Trench 3 Typhoons, aircraft BS-116, is now in the flight test hangar at BAE Systems Wharton site in Lancashire and set to enter the preparation phase for receiving the new radar system. Following the completion of integration work and ground-based testing, the AESA system is expected to undergo flight testing from late 2023, a Ministry of Defense program official says. The UK will acquire ECRS MK2 sensors to equip 40 Trench 3 Typhoons, with the technology, which also will offer electronic attack functionality, to additionally be suitable for incorporation with Trench 2 examples. At the time of the program's launch in September 2020 the IOC milestone was aimed at occurring in 2025, a schedule later revised to 2028. Ground trials involving aircraft BS-131 to prove updated functionality for the MBDA Brimstone air-to-surface missile also are being performed in support of a future P-3EC modification, says Andy Flynn, Typhoon Capability Delivery Director at BAE Systems Air. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.